Time for round town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. We're at Acquisitions in Hinsdale. This gallery is ho hosting Robert Fleischman, who's standing here next to me, who has had an incredible music career and art career and never stops. Good morning, Robert. Morning. Okay, so before we showed what you've been doing lately on a tablet, but I heard that this was one of your first mm. works of art. Tell me a little bit about this no, one. Um, I traditionally did... Um, collage where uh -huh. I would cut out things yeah. and uh, and in the early days I cut out like little tiny individuals with mm -hmm. a little Zacto knife and yeah. everything and then I made collages about mm -hmm. this big and then um, later on I would fool around and, and I, I did one like this and these are all paint brushes that I've uh, collected uh, you know after I paint a, a painting I just throw them in the corner and th so I thought why not? Uh, I'm going to use that. Right. So I used it to to uh, use it as a borderline for this particular piece. And, and I love And the then bingo I, parts. I I was at a bar mm -hmm. and they were playing bingo <laughs> and I uh, I took all the uh, bingo uh, you know things mm -hmm. all the little sheets and so I had a whole stack of them and I utilized it. And, and then we fast forward to this when you discovered a great app on your phone right. and you created this kind of art. Right. You told me you start always with the background picture. Right. I, I use a, 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 a backdrop mm -hmm. and then I start inserting um, image on top of it. Mm -hmm. And um, and I've been uh, doing this uh, for about, uh, about four years now mm -hmm. um, using an app. Uh, I, I, I used about five different apps until I found an app that I could work with and I just use that one app. A lot of people think I do uh uh, you know, Photoshop and all this stuff, no. but I, I don't. I love so, it. And you can make it this big. You have someone yeah, who printed for yeah, you Yeah, I have a, my friend John Scott prints these out for me, and I, uh, I, I assemble them at home, and then I email them to him, and then he, he prints them out for me. But I, I go there, and I check it out to see if it's all... Um, you know, all the edges are all nice and, right, and everything right, right. like that. The opening is tomorrow here in Hinsdale, and if he looks like a rock star to you, it's because take a look at this picture. In the early 70s, he was the front man for Journey, and he worked with Kiss, and you wrote to music for SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, I did the uh, the trailer for it. Nice. Yeah. And so this is, do you do half and half, or is this kind of like your plan B? Well. It's when I was 30, I decided that I uh, envisioned myself as a painter mm -hmm. and when I got to about 60, let's say. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I, I did it. Yeah. So that's what I do now. I love it. And um, I'm working on an electronic album right now because I, You're for gonna six see years, in Awakening soon. six years I haven't done music because I was tired of the format of guitars and cool. everything. And so uh, I changed the template up, you know? So keep your eye out for him and his music yeah. as well. We're going to send it back to you, Mike.